Thanks. <laughs> what do you know about the Romans from being taught history? Oh, well, I know Rome was not built in a day, <laughs> that's for sure. Um, very good gladiators. Uh, I can remember Julius Caesar. Well, it's really interesting you say that, because Julius Caesar is the, the, the individual, along with Cleopatra, which most people reference when they talk about the Roman Empire. And Caesar is also famous for coming to Britain, and a lot of people think that Caesar conquered Britain, but he didn't. So, effectively, he came, he saw, but he didn't conquer. Oh. Now, the most important Roman, I would argue, who actually ever came to Britain was the African emperor, Septimius Severus. Hold on, hold on. Let's just stop there. Okay. Are you telling me there was an African emperor? There was an African emperor, and he was one of the greatest Roman emperors. So he was born in North Africa in AD 145, and he died here. Here? Here, right beneath your feet. Oh, my gosh, that's amazing. In York? In York. This is where he would have lived. His bedroom would have been within 10 yards of where we're sitting, below us. Actually, I can show you what the family looked like. Really? Because we have a portrait here called the Severan Tonda. This is like a photograph... Oh, my goodness. ...of the Severan family. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. There they are. Why? It's amazing to actually see his portrait. It's a black man, isn't it? I always remember the Romans being quite violent when I was at school. Was Severus nasty? He was a warrior. He came here to Britain in AD 208, got a message from the governor, and the governor said that we here in Britain are being attacked from the north and we're in danger of being overrun. The first thing he does is have them build the walls of Roman London. Why? So the city of London, to this day, the square mile is defined by the African Emperor Septimius Severus. If you walk into the reception area of the British Museum, the first bust you see is a bust of Septimius Severus, alabaster white, but actually when it was in real life in the Roman world, it would have been painted as he was, a man from North Africa, a black man. So no one would know that that was not a white man? Absolutely right. This is a man who's there all the time. He's right in front of us all the time in the British Museum, but nobody knows, unless you dig into the story, that he was a a, a warrior emperor from North Africa who stayed true to his own heritage. This is just incredible. I can't believe I don't know about this story. And it's such a good story as well. It's got everything. It's more more Game of Thrones than Game of Thrones. An African Roman emperor ruling Britain? How did I not know about this? And Dr Simon's got another surprise up his sleeve. There's an amazing artist called Daniel Vossart who specialises in creating realistic images of Roman emperors and he's created this. I give you... (gasps) Wow! He looks so real, doesn't he? That looks so real. If you look at his eyes, it's like looking into the eyes of a real person. This African emperor has just completely blown my mind. It's completely changed my idea of the whole Roman Empire. I so wish I had known this as a child. The Roman Empire is a truly cosmopolitan mixing pot of people from all over the Roman Empire. He's powerful, he was a warrior, you know, he led from the front, people respected him. And most importantly for me, is he's really fit. 